it doesn't have proper peak and valley distribution, maybe when you paint it, that, that won't adhere properly and you'll have some peeling or, or problems with, with that type of function. So mm -hmm. as intolerances, uh, the, the surface finish plays a large role, not only in functionality, but also in appearance and ability to, to complete the process that it's going through. And this impacts industry um, from aerospace components, Industrial. medical, obviously in combustion engines, or really anywhere where you have a that are mated with type of load or have high friction. It's going to be very, very important to monitor finish or to, uh, as a general finisher, texture. At the time when we're looking at these pieces of equipment, monitoring surface roughness. It offers tactile or touched. This is the, the tried and true method of taking a diamond stylus, very, very sharp, and on it, two or radius diamond we're pulling across that surface to get those peaks and valleys for analysis and the two methods or the two types of sensors we have for tactile roughness testing uh, Tony in a moment is going to on the entry level type product which is called a skid type and then we'll take a type uh, those are the, the two different types of sensors and they are very different mechanically they have um, and before I kick Tony to talk about Skid, I have to remind everyone, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them in the chat. And your local Mitutoyo representative, and we'd be more than happy to talk to you about anything to do with, with surface finish. So, Absolutely, Tony. So right now let's focus our attention on Skid. I have Both are incredible. Um, and the SJ210 and the SJ310 uh, are for basic systems that traces machine parts. Uh, it calculates its surface rough results. And today, I want to uh, share with you three important characteristics about systems that you should know about. They are economic. Two. They're compact and easy to move around. And three, they are easy to use. So first, it shouldn't be a big surprise to many of you that it's one of the shining that highlights the beauty of the skidded systems. So with that, let's talk about the, the, the structure of the detector. So if I can have a right here. Now, the detector is on the right. It is important place the stylus on its own without having to place the whole thing, the piece. Now this is a cost-effective manufacturing solution. It brings you a stylus and detector combo to measure a flat surface. That applies some, pre some pressure to the surface evaluation. Now the specific structure has a sp uh, special characteristic, and that is the metal housing that envelopes the stylus. It's called the skid. Skidded. And the skid will continuously apply pressure to the surface evaluation. And this is happening because the structure is split, stronger, and more resistant. Now, let's look over at a second characteristic about skidded systems. I have a, a full shot for me now. Uh, characteristic is that they're compact and easy to move around. Uh, unlike skidless systems, the SJ210 and the SJ310 are relatively small and easy to carry around the shop floor. Um, very easy to use, but spe specifically the SJ210. Let's look at that for a second. It is small enough that it can be from person to person, it can be the shop floor, be used in at any time at any place both thermal battery or the SJ SJ310 both are great for smaller parts and larger parts alike and with the you can get the results that you need easily 
Now let's jump to another characteristic about SCADED systems, and that is they're very easy to use. The is simple. First, you have to find out and understand what is the you are required to measure. About a call out, you know, you can get into the who provided you. The if you still have questions after that, just give me a call. Me to tell you, and I'll be happy to assist you. Is range and clearance that you have available to measure. Three, select the right stylus for the replication. This will only make it easier for you at a later time to have more content and more repeatable results. Yeah, you can also add any of our additional accessories, such as some um, J210 extension cord. Fourth, select the right settings, parameters, and the right conditions uh, through the LCD full color screen that contains an easy to follow menu. Just press start and print or record the results. So, like, like there is to everything good in life, right? Uh, but there is. Uh, one of those limitations include there is low style diversity. And also, I talked to you about the. the so, if you image the stylus, then you're going to have to replace. Uh, structure detector structure unit. In terms of styli, to measure a part that has very low clear space, then perhaps you will find the right stylus for, for what you're trying to do. Of the relatively short and the C axis range microns. To you, then that's a limited selection of surface roughness parameters. So, if you have a part, if you're trying to measure something like RA, RZ, and you're in the safe zone, but if you're trying to measure something more advanced, I would suggest you to just give us a and we'll have available in the surf test. So, in a brief, I've talked a lot. Skidded systems are great because they are economic. They are also very compact and portable. And three, they're easy to use. The limitations include there is only no uh, uh, stroke. Uh, there's also only a few surface, basic, uh, surface parameters. And also only a few selections for styli available. So with that in mind, here is where the skid 